Christmas, we remember that the light of the world was born as a vulnerable baby on a far from perfect Christmas night. We are ready. The waiting of Advent is almost over. It's time to sing and dream our way to Bethlehem. So let's hear the Christmas story again with the joy of a child. In the centre of the town is a small inn. Tonight, it is overflowing with people looking for somewhere to stay and something to eat. Behind the inn is a stable. All is dark and quiet and still. As night gathers, two travellers slowly come up the road. The young woman is about to become a mother. She is walking with her husband. They are Mary and Joseph from Nazareth. They have walked for days to come to the town where King David was born because the Roman Emperor wants to count all his people. But it's late. Mary is weary. Where will they sleep? There is no room at the inn. But the innkeeper lets them stay in his stable. Stars brighten slowly in the sky. All creation holds its breath. Suddenly, the cry of a newborn baby is heard from the stable. Mary wraps the child gently in a blanket and lays him in the feeding box which Joseph has filled with straw. In the hills outside Bethlehem, shepherds are watching their shadowy sheep. All at once, the dark is lost in light. And in the midst of the light is something even brighter, the faces of angels. The shepherds hear music in the sky and more angels appear, a whole heavenly host praising God and singing glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill to all people everywhere. The shepherds run with joy across the fields to Bethlehem and into the stable behind the inn. They find the holy family. and They creep forward, overwhelmed with mystery to find Nativity at the heart of all that love. Three camels plod up the road to Bethlehem. They have come from the east far beyond the Arabian desert, perhaps even as far as the Caspian Sea. The camels carry the kings, the wise ones, the magi. They are following the wild star, the destiny they had never seen before, and following it wherever it goes to find the king that its shining shows them. The king's journey ends with a new kind of king. They give him bright gold, sweet-smelling frankincense, and bitter myrrh, brought so far with so much love as they come to worship him. And so we celebrate the birth of a child more than 2,000 years ago, Jesus, the Son of God who brought light and colour into our world on that first Christmas night, and who invites us to let that light shine in our lives and to let colour fill our hearts this Christmas, whatever our circumstances. And as we gaze at the manger, filled with light, our wonderful children from St George's Primary are going to sing to us.
And so, may the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas and always. Amen. Thank you.